Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. In today's video, we will see what is the definition of serialization and deserialization in Apache Spark. So what is serialization? Serialization is a process of converting objects to stream of bytes and it's very crucial in distributed computing environment like spark where data needs to be efficiently transmitted between nodes in a cluster in spark we are creating rdds data frames and data sets and these will store the data in the form of partitions that we all know right so all these are nothing but jvm objects which are present in the individual nodes in a cluster and when you perform wide transformations over these APIs, which involves the shuffling of the data across the nodes. Transfer of data between these nodes will be happening over the network, since all the nodes are connected through the network in the cluster. Now, direct objects, if you try to transfer over the network, right, but it cannot be possible because network only allows stream of bytes to be transferred. So, serialization is done here. Means the conversion of objects into stream of bytes so that easily the data can be transmitted from one node to another node. And once the object means not directly the object in the form of bytes reach to another node, then it has to convert back to object which is nothing but this deserialization. Okay. So, what is uh, serialization? We are understood, right? Serialization means it's nothing but we have the object, it will convert that object into stream of bytes. And similarly, once the data is reached to the nodes through network, and in the net, after reaching in the, to the node, uh, I mean that, that bytes cannot be uh, uh, used for a, uh, data processing, right? It has to convert back to the object so that we can perform the data processing on top of it. So here deserialization means it involves interpreting the serialized binary data according to the specified serialization format and reconstructing the original object or data structure. This is also a very crucial part of data processing pipeline in distributed systems like Spark, okay? Because it directly impacts the efficiency and performance of data processing tasks okay so uh, usually what are the scenarios where serialization is used is uh, when we, we are reading the data from input data right and it is partitioned and sent to the individual worker nodes by using the serialization that's where we mainly use the serialization and also uh, the transformation logic to be executed on data partition on a worker node and uh, uh, we are having some uh, we are processing a function, uh, we are passing some uh, transformation. I mean, we are working on some transformation like map or something. Uh, and uh, so, uh, if, you, if you are processing anything, right, any object, uh, internally it will be it will be a Scala object, right? First, because uh, Spark is uh, written in Scala and it's a functional programming language which uh, reads, retreats the function as object. Uh, where the object containing the function definition is again serialized. Also, we can persist the partition data in memory in a serialized form to reduce the memory uh, uh, consumption of the data. So, by seeing these things, right, what you can understand serialization is also one of the optimization techniques which helps to optimize your data transfer process. So here there are again lot of other serializations available and uh, in Spark and uh, Scala. So in the next video we will discuss about what are the available serializations and uh, uh, what is the advantage, which one, when to use which one. The all the information we will see in the next video. Hope this video is useful to you friends. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.